Hi YouTube, so this is going to be a Q&A. I really enjoyed doing the Q&A with Ali and this is just a short Q&A because I didn't want to blab on. Um, so this is some of the questions you guys sent me on Instagram. So, where to begin? If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? See, that's a difficult one because I'm not very well travelled, like, I've been here Torbay and London so I used to say London but now I kind of don't really think I'd want to live in London because it's quite noisy and polluted <laughs> so probably somewhere by the sea because I've grown up by the sea so where I was by the sea really I mean, yeah, I don't really know, but not somewhere really horribly hot. Like a nice temperature. There you go, that's my answer. So if anyone knows anywhere by the sea, nice temperature, not too hot, not too cold, with lots of animals, let me know. Um, next question is, what's your favourite comedy series? This is like a two part question. Do you have Netflix? If so, what do you like watching? So my favourite comedy series is probably I can't, Miranda because it can always make me laugh um, or so I don't know if this counts as a comedy I really liked Good Omens on Amazon Prime but I don't know if that's a comedy or not but it's, it, like, it's funny I mean, I'd say Killing Eve is quite funny as well, but that's not a comedy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, probably Good Omens or Miranda is always one that can make me laugh. So I like Miranda. Um, yes, I do have Netflix. I like watching... At the moment, I'm binge watching Glee. Because I love Glee. And I'm nearly finished season six. So I've nearly finished Glee. So I'm going to have to find something else to watch. But <laughs> I like watching Doctor Who on it, Sherlock... Even though I've got all the Sherlock box sets, it's just easier to go on Netflix and watch it. Um, like I said, the moment I'm watching Glee. I really liked How to Get Away with Murder. That was really good. Um, I like started watching Stranger Things, but sorry guys, I couldn't get into it at all. Like it just wasn't quick enough. It was a bit slow. Like I I like things where something happens. <laughs> um, I watched that Sabrina thing, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That was quite good. Um, I like murdery things, <laughs> which is a bit weird. Criminal Minds is like one of my all-time favourite shows. So yes, I do have Netflix and I like watching things about serial killers. <laughs> but I also like watching funny things. So. There's a rumour saying Waterloo Road's going on to Netflix and I kind of hope it's true because I love Waterloo Road. But yeah, I'm really watching Glee. Um, Next question, what's a good food you really want to ha have? What What's a food you really want but too scared to have? Is what this says. So a food that I really want to have but I'm too scared to have. Um, I don't know, like I think and I think I've pretty much had most of my fair foods since I've been out. And I wouldn't say there's anything I really... If I wanted to have something that badly, I'd challenge it and have it. I guess, like, I still have foods that are fears, but I do have them. So it's not like I'm too scared to have them, because I do have them. I just deal with the, like, aftermath. Um... I don't think there is anything. No. I'm pretty sure I've had most of my fair foods already. Which is quite good, to be fair. If I think of something, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, next question is... Favourite snacks? I'm stuck in a rut. So, my favourite snacks... If you mean store, like, bought snacks... 
are, I really like the brave roasted peas, which come in savoury flavours like paprika and chilli, um, garlic and chive, um, salt and vinegar, and I think that's the three flavours. And then they also have a, a sweet flavour, which I tried the other day, which is chocolate and salted caramel, and that was really nice, like weirdly nice. You wouldn't think split peas with chocolate on would work, but it did. So I really like them at the moment. And um, the Gray's Protein Bites are really good to have in your bag, like they're a real go-to. I basically took loads of them to London with me. I really like the Deliciously Ella Apple and Cinnamon Flapjacks. And I really like the Cacao and Salted Caramel Perkier Bars, they're like amazing. Um, Naked Bars are always a good, like a good one if you're stuck in a rut, but I've sort of gone off of Naked Bars. Like, I do still have them, but not as much. I used to like have them all the time. Like, you, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know when I was in hospital, general hospital, and I was bringing my own food, most of my day consisted of Naked Bars. But now I tend to just have the peanut ones and coffee and walnut ones. And like, I find lots of them too sweet now, whereas before I didn't. So I think my taste buds are just changing. Um, yeah, that's the snacks I've got in my cupboard at the moment. But I'm quite I'm quite one for I tend to make snacks, if that makes sense. So one snack, if you like, that I'm sort of a bit addicted to at the moment is mashed banana. So mashed banana, um, peanut butter, and then a microwave it. So it's all hot and like mm, it's really nice. I but I'm quite weird, like I, I think that's really nice, but then my mum's like that doesn't seem like normal and I'm like well it's nice like I have it cold as well sometimes but if it's like, if it's really hot like really cold sorry and I'm freezing like it's so warming and comforting and I'm just really loving peanut butter at the moment and I don't know why because I never used to like it I've got the Meriden rich roast and I don't know I never used to be a huge peanut butter person but I'm like obsessed with it at the moment so yeah don't know why that is so that's probably one of my favourite snacks. It's like one I'll always go to. But yeah, brave for it depends if you want a savoury snack or a sweet snack. If you like message me on Instagram, I can give you a more extensive list. But I'm not just gonna sit here and spill off all the snacks I have because I've sort of said everything I've got in my cupboard at the moment. And I think that's kind of you know enough. Um um, is a Jaffa cake a cake or a biscuit? Um, we had this debate in Howden actually. I seem to remember having this debate. And the definition of a cake is it goes hard when it's stale and a biscuit goes soft when it's stale. So I think we came to the conclusion a Jaffa cake was a cake because it goes hard when it's stale. So there you go, scientific explanation for you. Would you like to meet up and explore Glasgow together? I mean, yeah, Glas Glas I can't even say that. Glasgow's in Scotland and I've never been to Scotland, but it would be quite cool to like go to Scotland. Never been, as I said, I'm not very well traveled. Um, could you tell us more about your college course in September? So, I got an interview on the 3rd of September, but the course director was like, it's kind of just a formality. He, she's pretty sure she's going to accept me onto the course. Um, so it's a access course to healthcare um, at Exeter College. That's kind of all I know. Like it's three different like sections. So it's sociology, biology, and psychology, I think. Don't hold me to that. But I think that's what it is. Could be wrong. Sociology, biology, and psychology. I think that's what it is. But um, basically, I just went to Exeter College to the open day, and I was like, I want to be a child's mental health nurse or support worker. What course do I need to do? And they directed me like in the right sort of direction. 
yeah in the right direction so that's the course I'm doing and then I'm excited to start I'm excited to get new stationery I'm very excited about that so that's the course I'm doing in September um okay wait there wait there wait there Got two more questions okay so this one is favorite boy name and girl name God, you ask, this is the same person who asked me my favourite food. Like, you ask diff difficult questions because I'm not very good at making decisions. <laughs> um, favourite boy name? Uh, <laughs> I literally don't have a clue. Never really thought about it. Something different. I like names that are different. See, I'm not really that, like, fast. Sherlock, I mean, <laughs> I like that. Moriarty? No, no. I don't know. <laughs> DM me some boy names and I'll try and decide because my brain's just gone, hmm? Can't think of any boy names right now. I quite like the name Jordan. I think that's a nice name. Um, yeah, there we go, Jordan. I like that name. What do I? No, I do. I do like that name. <laughs> Girl name. Now, I've always liked the name Sapphire. I wanted to be called Sapphire. Um, I like the name, I love the name that my little niece, niece? Yeah, my little niece is going to be called Isla Rose, I love that name. I like two barrel names, I think they're quite cute. Um, so I like the name Rose, I like the name, oh there's a little girl at the baby shower I went to called Delilah, that's a really nice name, I like that name. Yeah, um. I really like the name Emily as well actually. I've got a friend called Emily, but I do like the name Emily. Um, I really like the name Lucy. I was actually gonna call my child Lucy. Or Daisy. I like like names that end in like, I, uh, so I like double barrel names and I also like names that end in like IE, if that makes sense. Hence why I call myself when people call me Lottie. And then I have Ellie, Emily, friend-wise, Rosie, like, I, I don't know, I like how it rolls off the tongue, that might be weird. Maybe I am weird. I like the name Natalie as well, actually, I've got a friend called Natalie. But I have always liked that name. But yeah, I was going to call my children, <laughs> that I'm going to have in the future, <laughs> Lucy, one of them Lucy, one of them Sapphire, because I love that name. But like, my brother now is like, taking it to a whole new ball game because his child's got like a fabulous name and it's like, how am I going to be that? So yeah. Um, <laughs> I was not supposed to waffle on this video and I have waffled. Um, the last question, Marmite, are you a lover or a hater? I'm going to have to confess that I've never tried Marmite in my life. I don't know. <laughs> Never tried it, so I can't say whether I'm a lover or a hater. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's all the questions. Sorry I waffled, like I always waffle. But I really enjoy doing a Q&A, so if you have any questions, just DM me on Instagram or comment below, and I'll try and get Q&As done at least like once a week, because I really enjoy doing them. It also makes my brain think about things that I've not necessarily thought about, like what's my favorite boy name? Still think I'm going with Jordan, but I quite like the name Cameron. So you're like, in mm. something ending in mm. <laughs> There you go. Bye.